You may recall the story that he cut down the cherry tree mm -hmm. and then could not tell a lie about it when confronted with his father. This is the very hatchet he used. That very one. It is. Now, due to its age, it's over 200 years old, and I was forced to replace the handle twice and the head once, but it is the very hatchet that he used. <laughs> How long does it take to bake a pudding well, over the hearth? Well, it depends a lot on the quality of the wood that you're using for coal. So it'll probably take anywhere from half an hour to an hour. Well, the persimmons, um, the boys found them out in the woods. They were, they were able to find, actually we found the persimmon tree last year. So we went back to it this year. Very we nice. What kind of persimmons would be right. Just pushed it through that sieve, that metal sieve. I see. And then ended up with a nice puree of um, very ripe fruit. Okay. And then I've added spices and sugar and a little bit of salt. Um, now, where do you get your sugar? Over at the at the store, over at Mr. Whitaker's. I see. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank so. you. How old are you? How old are you? Eight. Eight? I usually like to start guys a little bit older than that, but... Oh. Yeah, you're pretty big. You could probably handle that sledge, couldn't you? I'm five years old. You're five? Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes somebody young a young man about 12 years old, and we'll put him to work here in the blacksmith shop, and they're called an apprentice. Did you put that piece in there? Did you put that in the fire? Yeah. That's the whole idea here. That's what he's trying to do. If you ask me to just bake some biscuits, I'd probably end up with a few black little pieces of supposed biscuits. Wait for you to eat. And most folks don't put that burnt biscuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you hope for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really oh, no, it's a black pea biscuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have an oven. When you go from cooking, well, this is an oven too, this right here is the oven. But when you go from cooking on a hearth where you're digging your coals out, putting them on the, the hearth, and your, your Dutch oven goes on top, and your biscuits inside, and then your coals on top. When you're used to cooking like that, mm -hmm. And that's why I've been cooking all the while. And then you go to cook on the stove where everything's all confined in this box and you go cooking an oven up top. It's, it's a whole different way of cooking. And it just takes a little bit of practice. And Abigail's been doing it for much longer than I have. And Bud's favorite thing to do if he likes you is rub his face on you. But if you don't know that it's a nice thing, it's kind of scary. Okay, you right, right now I'm going to hold on to you. I'm going to walk around the yes. floor. <laughs> you know, you know, Which my brothers no, can race themselves <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, You're going to walk behind yeah. the horse. We already made some cornbread that's in the dining room. We're making some beans right now. But... Very nice. How are you? That's a lanky. Okay. Yeah. Crazy goat, he tried to eat you. He tried to eat the goat with you. See a hole in my tip? Look. Like this? And then if you pinch your head, pretty soon they'll go like this and they'll go to sleep on you. Oh, but if they're hollering, then you got him a little too tight or he's getting cold. He said when he died, he owned 4,000 acres, so I'm not sure where all of that was. We've got the White River running through, but that river there creates a horseshoe shape. And I've been spinning for 25 years or more, but it's still something I can always just watch and really kind of get lost in. All that happens with this great big piece of equipment is nothing more than the wool being held about a 45 degree angle, so it jumps off the end. And every jump off that end of the spindle adds twist. And the twist has to go somewhere, so the easiest place for it to go... Come back, that's awfully thin. The easiest place for it to go is to these fibers in my fingers that have not yet been twisted. So I back up and it literally is pulling it out of my feet. 